Let's do some math for fun and I'm going to show you guys how to do this question right here. Remember, word of operation is the key and it says we have to do the parentheses first, right? And we see that we have the negative 9 in the parentheses, likewise the negative 21 in the parentheses. So be sure we do this two first, alright? And as we can see, we have negative 9 plus negative 21. So that's what? That's negative 30, isn't it? And likewise, we also have these two parentheses. This is negative 3, and we have to multiply with positive 2. Negative 3 times positive 2, we get what? That's negative 6, right? And we are going to put this in a parentheses. We'll also put this in a parentheses. And then we'll bring down the division right here. At the end, negative 30 divided by negative 6, we get what? Well, the answer is just going to be positive 5. And now let's go to work from alpha. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the answer is positive 5. And that's what we got earlier as well. So we did it right. Okay, so that was really exciting, right? Because we did this right. However, this is also wrong, right? If you did this on the test, you will get crossed out like that, all right? Because even though you got the right answer, in fact, this is totally wrong. This is the actual way to do it. Let me write down the question again. Negative 9 in the parentheses plus parentheses negative 21 inside divided by negative 3. And then we have positive 2. Yes, we have the parentheses like this. But inside of the parentheses, this is just negative 9. This is just negative 21. There's no operations inside of the parentheses, right? You will have to look for the operations inside of the parentheses to do first. If there's none, well, they are just numbers. So you look for the operation. Remember, you multiply what divide first before you add or subtract. In our case here, we are adding, dividing, multiplying. In this case, we have to look at it first, right? We have to look at division and multiplication. And because they happen together, we will just do it from left to right. So in fact, what we have to do first is this. Negative 21 divided by negative 3. Well, negative divided by negative is positive, so we know it's going to be positive. And 21 divided by 3 is 7. So this is going to be 7 right here. All right? This is the first thing that we will have to do. Well, I didn't do anything with this. And in fact, there's nothing in front. right? This is just a regular number, negative 9. We are just going to write it down as how it is. We don't have to use the parentheses anymore. And this divided by that, we know it's positive 7. And that's plus, so we maintain the plus, pass the seven like this. And at the end, we still have this parentheses two. We write it down like this. Seven parentheses two. This means we have to multiply. And we multiply before we add anything or subtract anything. So the next thing we will do is seven times two, right? So I will keep the negative nine. Seven times two is 14. And of course, we have to add them together. As you can see at the end, negative 9 plus positive 14 is positive 5. This is the absolute right way to do it, not that. I call this to be the interesting bad question because sometimes we can do things in a totally different wrong way or wrong order, but we may still end up to have the same answer. Of course, you have to always know the absolute correct way to do things. Right? Otherwise, you will end up with a lot of situations similar to this kind of things.